previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? All right. Hey guys, my name is Kid W25 and welcome that, to the final episode of season 1 of Minecraft Story Mode. I'm doing the intro right now because it's right at the start of the episode. Um It's been a long time coming. And I'll be glad to finish this and I'll be glad to finish this and uh delete it from my computer and never touch it ever again. <laughs> Let's uh, let's be, yeah, let's be positive. I can't believe we're finally this close. Ah, feels like just yesterday we were building this place. I need to clean my glasses. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time, and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. I kind of thought I'd never need to come here to tell you the truth. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. If there are any others left. You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. <laughs> yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Are you <laughs> joking? You think you're nice? Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole Pama thing, but, uh... Hey, I had good intentions with that, all right? Don't make me regret helping you. <laughs> well, you're gonna give us the Atlas. <laughs> Such a nice. Home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well... They might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling me? <sighs> good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the Atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? I'm going to do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. A whole kind episode's of worth complications. of complications. You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that Atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise Idiots. you. Idiots. Idiots. Trying to help. <sighs> you just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Why are you being so... Uh... Ah, very what? bright. I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? Oh. Ah! Well, that was a bit sudden. Oh no! Do we have ears? Seems as if 
some new competitors that have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just... What in the world did Harper dump us into? Like some sort of crazy game. Right? It's, it's like the whole, um... Hugger Games thing that Minecraft has. What the hell? Oops, did face me drop something? Um I'm helping Petra. Get Ivor quick. I'll always help Petra. Whoa! It can't be. Whoa! No way, dude! I got a double. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, hey, whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules. Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Ah! Oh! Slab is down. I repeat, slab is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah, I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I think... You killed one of my best friends. Hey, I don't care about your compliments, and I'm definitely not your bra. Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes. We are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. What? <laughs> this is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of sleep. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> <clears throat> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. 
Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, champ, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight and to the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now. Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! No, not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are... What about this? <gasps> I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It can be, uh, <laughs> pretty dangerous. You don't know how to use it. Nuh uh, Hadrian, you're not getting one finger on this thing. Until you, you don't have fingers, you have blocks for hands. Here's the oh my goodness. My offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? Oh, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Hadrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. No! Trust me, everyone enjoys these games. It really does take a big person to admit when they've met their match, right, Hadrian? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Slugger. I'll play these games. Bring penis. It on. He's a penis. Right. Guess we have a deal then. Incredible. All right then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. What made the... What made the old builders be like this? Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh. He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Sort of hoped I had left all his negotiating behind me. Don't know how I put up with him for so long. Okay, so maybe I wasn't completely honest with you. And that might be a little bit of an understatement. But at least we're one step closer to the Atlas, right? Uh, Shut up, you were complaining before. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village Oh, I'm so pissed off at this game already. That was only chapter one? Fifteen minutes for chapter one? We used to have competitors from all uh, travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Nevia let Oh, it's finally the opening head. sequence. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. <laughs> There's a polo band. There's definitely a polo band. That's funny. 
sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Adrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Oh, yay. Adrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We've got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask yes. some of the other competitors. Yay, time for exploring, eh? Who's this face meat? Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand oh, no. reading up all of face meat's hair. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meat cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meat has time, that is. <laughs> what do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Do yeah, you know that's that's funny. Are? In the mines, duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That doesn't mean just stand there, staring at face meet. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it. Facemeat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Facemeat's hungry. Do something about that, and Facemeat will think about getting your friends out. <coughs> hmm. Sort of practice space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh. Block through. Sleep. You were like amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bro. I will never Bruh. do that to one of your friends again because <laughs> I do not want to be on your bad side. Say, you keep playing like that, and you'll be like Tim status. Tim, who? Tim, like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like, one, okay? Like, you could. People could, like, already be talking. They're gonna, like, say stuff. Compare you to Tim. I'm not here to be a Tim. I just want to get home. But that's, like, exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. <laughs> he got oh my goodness, Tim really? Boom. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask. Shop? Yeah? Yeah. Sure. I mean, seriously, I mean anything at all. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. So oh. I don't have a secret stash, and if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. 
Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Them dynamic zooms, though. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, bra. It'll grow back. Just uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. <laughs> wow, that bread. Hopefully, bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? <sighs> I remember a bunch of wood planks. By the dojo. I think they train by like punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this whole. Uh, uh hey. You are the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind right. of for you. Most of us got snatched against our will, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Ah, uh, he's some yeah, well, hope propaganda, I guess. Good luck with getting home. Can you please look at it? Thank you. Solid. Solid. What happens if I punch? Shut up! There's a gladiator right there. Ugh. Recipes. Boom! Bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Yeah, sure. Wait. She doesn't care. Okay. Oi, ache face. Um, hello. Face ache. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? <clears throat> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. What? Okay. Okay, then. That's that's how it is. Okay. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. Back with Palma, you picked Lucas, and so today in that stupid game, I worried. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... I did what I had to do. Well, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. 
Jesse, man, is it good to see you? You too, Lucas. And Ivor. <laughs> He's in a single. <laughs> uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up. <laughs> My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, <laughs> how's it going out here? You uh, you don't have. Hey, see me. Any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. Sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah. Where are you going, Zoe? Harper is a tricky one. Jesse? Now that you guys are out, we need to be careful. If Petra and I don't win the next round, we're going to all be sent back to that nether portal. No. No way. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> Pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible, and we weren't in there that long. Lucas, we need the atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently, this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. But it's all he fake, I bet you. Three blocks tall and. That he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mm. mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Real. A real you being here. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. <sighs> Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway. Storms are over there. We got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. <coughs> oh, oh. Sit for a little while. And in the morning, <clears> some food came up with that burp. That thing will go to plan because the event will be. hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes wonderfully. <laughs> All right, so I, I get it. I get it. Um, Tim is a made-up guy Hello, made for hope. And welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleet... I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is going to go. These other losers don't look so tough. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these pompous jerks. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom. Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. <coughs> Everyone's been talking about since they're... 
explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Do you really think you're special? Whatever you're throwing at That's the wrong yaw. The other stuff we've already survived. Oh, right. Are you kidding me? It seems like two members of your team have already been Telltale <laughs> Games, you use the wrong yaw. More than enough to win this. Yes. Perhaps we should just Oh, wow. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Are you kidding me? Jesse, good luck out there. That's like third grade grammar. Great, but uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? You wishing me good luck? Come on, Em, that sounds pretty suspicious. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot earlier. I'm sorry. That was just mad. My respect for Telltale Games are down. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders and. Fire out. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. How can I trust you? You can trust me. Or you can take a slab to the face. <laughs> <laughs> just a laugh in the, in the side of my head, <laughs> like in my ears. <laughs> Tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up, defeat them, and race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay too. You got a deal. That, that explains why she's so big. I won't let you down. Competitors to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Uh, that sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators why, are going down. Why is her right bottom eyelid? Remember, there's no I in teamwork, Petra. Yeah, but there is a me, and I'm gonna kick their butts. <laughs> Oh, it's supposed to be scary. Okay. Jesse, I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together, and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh, yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. Go. Go. Oh lord. Oh frame. Woo. Frame skipping. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, I, I died, apparently. We press E. Then we press E again. Then we press E again. Then we press E. Oh wow, that was definitely not going to make it. Uh, we did it. 
Game! What the hell is happening to my game? This has been pretty tough. Uh. Whoa! Out of the way, chumps. Ha ha ha! I press Q. There we go. Not quite. Ow, belly flop. This is Gladiator Junction. Yeah, boy, it is. Oh, no. The ridiculousness of this whole thing. What one day? Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, it's all Jesse left. Okay, okay. Here we go then. Let's get rid of Slab. The Matrix. What? <laughs> just go, just race. Why are they so slow? Hey! Whoa, whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Slacker! Whoa! No! Oh, okay, save now. Yeah, like normal Minecraft.
Let me thank you. Can you please not oh. die? Man, intense enough for you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, I don't mention it. This game is killing my computer, and I don't know why, because it's not that pretty looking. Uh, okay. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse, and there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you, you were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, 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 please. probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. Okay, respawning is the worst. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? <laughs> well, that was unexpected. Because the game wants to Just prolong this Adrian so much. In the <laughs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Give me one sec, I want to talk to him. You're gonna get me in trouble. Hurry up. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse, I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. What is it? Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're going to be late and I'm going to get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to hear what that guy had to say. <sighs> Whatever. Do I look interested in this game? Because I don't. I'm not interested. <clears throat> Episode 7 was good. It was actually pretty good. But this is just really annoying. Wow, so this is how the old builders live. It's conflict for the conflict's sake. That's what this episode is. Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> just do that a whole bunch. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. <laughs> oh, 
and don't touch anything. Oh, I'm gonna touch everything. Don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Wake. What is that? No portal atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? What is that? Is that a snail? Now that's a view. Hey, that actually looks pretty Lucas. cool. Hey, bat. Hey, batsy. Oops. Oh, it's a bat. Okay. It's a cool desk. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Man, they really like quartz. Is that where they get all the quartz from? The the mines. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Well, Good to know. Jeez. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. The decor of this place really seems like you're going for a modern villain aesthetic. <laughs> Does it? I suppose taste can be intimidating to the classless. You Shut up. Closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. He's fake. After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier. He was fake. Nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control. Just see you're an idiot. That with you still in the picture, it could get messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking, or you just hope to find one along the way? <laughs> I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa, well, that's just kind of rude, champ. <laughs> Shut up. Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something Not for you. you know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse. What? Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Where were they? Are they <clears throat> so much? Wow, this is just wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. The pig? Your best friend. The pig. Ruben. Ruben.
what's up? Wait, what? <sighs> I've heard all about it. Your best friend. Your partner in crimes. Uh, hi, Reuben. Oh, what's up? Nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, <coughs> same. This is so awkward. <laughs> the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind at their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. If you're this scared of me, I must have a better shot of winning than you're letting on. Or maybe I'm just tired of a little pipsqueak interfering with my games. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm not. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than Conflict for conflict's sake, guys? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. You play it your <laughs> I will crush you. And you will win. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. This whole thing... Pisses me off. Oh yeah, they make sure they can breathe here. Yeah. Oh wait, he's a bad guy. He doesn't care. <laughs> Jesse, you're okay. What happened up there? Adrian has Axel and Olivia. What? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. Calm down, he Zuri. He'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably. Oh, good job. What? You thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? I don't. How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. We're gonna end these games for good. Think you can handle that, Harper? Oh, I think I've got some <laughs> ideas. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. This won't be the first impossible situation I've talked my way out of. I can make a pretty good speech when I want to. Hmm. Huh. Hope you're right. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. <sighs> the old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope. But they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. 
Shepard. Nobody beats Hadrian at his own game. Nobody. Hey, Tim did. That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah. Because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Is it elaborate though? Part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. Hey, but the old builders don't know that we know. We have surprise on our side. Surprise, awesome. That'll be a ton of help when a gladiator's running at me with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean, totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too! <sighs> Where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff... We're going to be like 10 times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> if all please. You can do it. Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free. Yeah. Not real. I can't believe it. <laughs> What's happening? Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. That was so piss weak. What is this episode? Uh. Who are we fighting then? The action definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you did hear it, right? Loud and clear. It just might not have been enough. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Mm. I just want this to finish. It's an hour of recording already. You know this. Oh. The game! That's right, Adrian. And not just any day, but the final day of the game! Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls! The walls! So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> Scared. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what I get for being honest. <laughs> for those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. Yeah. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiator! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials 
Because that clock is ticking. Ticking. Hey. Tick well, talk. Wall. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt. No, it's not. Calm your farm. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. Oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. <coughs> what? What's the point? What can I do? <sighs> this game. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down. Uh, this should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jesse! Hey! <laughs> Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Okay, do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever you say. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes. The finish. that friends thing a shot oh my goodness seriously thank you you made the right decision well you could say you really inspired me oh well that's good but don't what is am doing why is she doing that i have no idea come on over here yeah why aren't you all killing each other yeah <laughs> man i can totally see why you'd be confused yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other. <laughs> you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many <laughs> perspectives. <laughs> Stupid. Right now. Idiots. But what they should be doing. Hey, Adrian, shut your cake hole. Oh, imbeciles. Lad? Lad! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon. Right? You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Face me finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Swab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow. <laughs> what? So inconsiderate. Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate, too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. <laughs> I think it's time for us to finish this together. It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. 
As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Oh, it's so... It's so Hunger Games. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide <laughs> their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> sure. Okay, sure. Fine. Whatever. Mevia. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud of... He's dead. Otto. Yep. What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now. Because uh, I will trap you here forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your wish is my command, Buckaroo. Ah! This is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought, M. Oh, are you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. No, oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. No. <laughs> Admit, kid, you've shown you got skill, but you're still no we'll match. see about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. It's gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you? Forgive me? <laughs> this game is no! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. Oh, I, I don't think so! It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys! I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, cuz I'm awesome. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor <laughs> belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. The sword. Ooh, nice choice. Sweet. 
Of course a sword, what the hell? What What's the point? With all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime. Well, isn't huh. that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't you run away? Sound like <laughs> it sure does, Jesse. Told you. Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on. Jesse, three members, please. Got it. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends? You know that? Yes, <laughs> I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. <laughs> you have fairly defeated him. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate, and with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it Which Would You Rather Fight? <laughs> Chapter 5. We're near the end, guys. We're near the end. And that's when I yanked Palma's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Bye, 
Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home, anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very <laughs> exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promised they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, M, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but one of them's bored. Sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like we're starting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun! M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Yeah! Gosh. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper. All by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm going to head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for... Probably won't be easy, Harper. I hope you're ready to work hard. Oh, I am. What I did, I'll be very grateful if they can forgive me someday. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? <laughs> you are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other. Kiss how already? Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Why do you need to kneel to give me the Atlas? Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. Oh, is it really that yeah. portal? Is it really? Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. What else is there? Come on. Hey, Ruben. After all that time, all those portals, we're home. Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sack. <laughs> I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. 
I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Pama was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh. I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> the mask of Cassie Rose, aka the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. The enchanted flint and steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Uh... Flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Eh, he'll be back eventually. After everything we've been through, I think I finally trust him. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go home. Is this the end? Is this the end? Yes! Ah! Oh! Yes, yes. 87.3... 12.7% of people won the race? Wow, okay. Alright. Oh! Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Oh my goodness. I've got season 2 already. I know that two episodes are out, but I'm going to be taking a break from this whole thing. I'm still triggered about the fact that they had the wrong type of your your pride. They had you are pride. They had you are pride. Stupid. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I I I appreciated that, Mivia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is Telltale trying to be Marvel. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a like, subscribe, or write me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.